Greetings, traveler. Welcome back to the channel. My name is Foriam, and in today's Valheim video, I am going to show you guys how to defeat Eikthir, the very first boss in Valheim, which will also allow you to unlock mining, which is a very important aspect of the game. This will allow you to progress further with your craft, and you will be able to craft new weapons and armor, a lot of great stuff. So guys, let's get right to it. I will show you how to summon him, how to defeat him in a pretty easy way, even if you're playing solo. So um, let's get hunting. All right, so I'm just chilling in our base right now. We just cooked some sausages and seriously, these are so delicious. I will show you all these things in the future. We even have a portal to a very cool base and wow, we are actually getting raided by some great dwarves. So let's take care of them very quickly. There we go. But um, we're going to hunt for the stack boss, guys. We're going to take down Eikthir. So, at the very beginning of your adventures in Valheim, you will be asked by the Raven to prepare for battle and take down Eikthir, the very first boss. And this all happens at the very start of the world, the very center, and he will also mark Eikthir on the map. It's usually just a little bit further away. It looks exactly like this. So, if you're ready to face him, you're just going to travel to this location, and what you're going to do in order to summon him is get your hands on a trophy. So, if we read Rootsor right here, it will say, hunt his kin. That means that we're gonna have to hunt deer in order to get our hands on deer trophies, which we can sacrifice at the mystical altar. So if we click the tap right here, deer trophy, a fine specimen, but will you need to kill more than a deer to enter Valhalla? So right now we can actively use the deer trophy and seven Eichthyr to make the sacrifice. So right now, all you have to do pretty much is take him down. And it's actually not that difficult. I definitely recommend you guys to get rested near a campfire first. Also, get your hands on different pieces of food. So um, I bring some sausages, some uh, other kinds of meat, some mushrooms. Just have a variety of different items in your belly. And um, you can tell that Ikti doesn't deal a lot of damage. So uh, what you can do is, to make it easy pretty much, is shoot him down from afar. This will already deal a fair amount of damage. By this time, you will normally have a crude bow with you. And uh, what I definitely recommend you guys to get your hands on is a sword with a shield. So you can pretty much block all of the damage. Seriously, it doesn't deal that much damage. And you can just simply block the lightning with your shield. So um, if you want to play it easy mode, if you want to play it safe, if you are low on HP, just use your bow. But in general, really, a sword will be just fine with a shield. So uh, we're just going to block his damage right here. Do a couple of hits. And then he's going to run off and he's going to shoot some more lightning probably. Some fine placed arrows right in his face will be just fine as well. Also very nice to know is that when you are press and holding the right mouse button, you can actually roll away when he's casting things, when he's uh, trying to stomp you down. Look at that. It will make it so much easier. But of course, if you have enough stamina, you can use some stabs which will deal tons and tons of damage. So we just defeated Eikthir. Right now, you don't want to run away just yet. You actually want to stay right here and pick up the Eikthir trophy, which will, of course, allow you to get your hands on the Eikthir buff. We also dropped some hard antlers, guys. And seriously, this is very important to get your hands on because the hard antlers are used to make your very first pickaxe to mine for minerals. And with those minerals, guess what? You can make new weapons, new armor. It begins with tin and copper and bronze, but you can also work your way up to iron and even better. And don't worry, guys, if you forgot your antlers or the Ike Thief trophy, you can actually just summon him again by using another deer trophy. Uh, this, of course, will bring him back to battle, so you have to do an entire new boss fight. But I think this is a really awesome boss fight. It's great fun to do with friends who just started with Valheim. And um, it's actually not that difficult to do. I just farmed many different antlers. So we just killed three Eikthirs and we have nine heart antlers. So that means nine heart antler pickaxes. So after defeating Eikthir, you're going to travel back to the center of the world and you're going to hang his head onto one of these runestones. And this will allow you to activate the power of Eikthir. I think you should get your hands on this buff as quick as possible as it will greatly increase your abilities to explore. Your ability to run and jump is improved, which will reduce the stamina drain when doing those by 60%. So that means, guys, you will be able to run very long distances before you run out of stamina. Combine this with a very nice diet and you will have a huge stamina bar, guys, so you can definitely go and travel long distances. 
And that, my friends, is also why I recommend you guys to always use this buff for that very purpose. Exploration. If you have four people on the same server with this buff, you can actually permanently have it active because it has a 20 minute cooldown and is active for five minutes. More about buffs in the future, but that is pretty much everything you need to know. In order to summon and take down Eichthyr, get your hands on Heart Antlers in order to start mining for your very first minerals. More Valheim is coming up very soon, but right now it is 4am out. If you have suggestions for future videos, if you have questions about the game, just leave them in the comments down below. I'm very happy to answer them and of course also make a video for them if it's a nice and useful idea. So guys, big thanks for watching. If you enjoyed watching this one, definitely make sure to hit that like button and of course also subscribe because as I already said a lot more Valheim is coming your way right now it is for him out I'll see you very soon take care